Hi, in this tutorial we are going to solve a question related to reaction mechanisms. The question asks, add curved arrows to the reaction shown in the following figure to represent the flow of electrons. In order to solve this question, we have to uh, get or we have to see what kinds of bonds are broken and what kinds of bonds are formed. If you look at uh, the reactants, we have here hydroxide and we have bromoethane and at the end of reaction we have water and we have uh, ethylene or ethene and bromide anion. So, uh, if we compare one by one the reactants and products, we can easily understand what kinds of bonds are broken and what kinds of bonds form. Let's start from OH- hydroxide ion. OH- is becoming uh, H2O water, so definitely a new chemical bond, a new covalent bond has to be formed between hydroxide and the hydrogen. And which hydrogen it will be? Let's look at. If we look at the uh, second reactant here, which we have bromoethane, and it's becoming ethene or um, or ethylene. So uh, ethylene is losing uh, one hydrogen and 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 bromine fragment. Okay, so we can uh, clearly see that there is going to be a bond formation between hydroxide and one of the hydrogen, and then we have to say that the bromine has to leave the molecule uh, so the bond between carbon and bromine has to be broken and then uh, we, ha we are seeing that there is a new bond forming between carbon and carbon which is the second bond or the double bond so uh, a bond has to has to be formed between carbon and carbon so after after summarizing what should happen during the chemical reaction now we can draw our uh, curved arrows so this is a polar reaction this is not a radical reaction we don't see any radical in reactants and in product so we have to draw full headed arrows so let's start drawing full headed arrows we know that uh, we have to start drawing arrows uh, from a lone pair and we have to end the uh, curved arrows to the atoms that we are going to bond with the uh, atom that we are starting drawing the arrow. So basically a new bond will uh, will form between oxygen and hydrogen so we have to start from oxygen and we have to end here in uh, hydrogen. So let's draw with red uh, marker because it's going to be easier to uh, see we have to start from lone pair oxygen we have to end with hydrogen and we have to use full headed arrows so uh, then uh, we have to form a double bond uh, between a carbon and carbon so we have to use this these electrons in the bond that is breaking so we have to form a double bond here by using uh, these electrons then we know that carbon bromine bond has to break so we have to start the arrow from the bond we are breaking and we have to uh, we have to end the arrow at the atoms where the lone pair uh, lone pair has to move so basically it has to move to bromine so bromine has now one two three lone pairs and uh, this bond is going to be its fourth lone pair so basically by drawing one arrow uh, we we show that uh, the first arrow we show that there is going to be a new bond between oxygen and hydrogen here this is the new bond and we show that the bond between carbon and hydrogen has to break and where the electrons are going electrons are going to carbon carbon uh, bond to make the second bond or double bond and then we know that carbon cannot make the five 
response uh, then uh, one has to leave so bromine is leaving so carbon bromine bond is breaking and we showed with the curved arrow again so uh, with three arrows we can show the reaction mechanism thank you so much for watching